Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Bitcoin is still battling this horizontal resistance line right here, but we are obviously still within this short-term uptrend here, but we do have the RSI showing signs of weakness. I'll be explaining all of that on the chart in this video, and not just that, I will be going over the massive drop that we've just seen in the Bitcoin on exchange wallets. And not only that, I will be covering the Bitcoin miners position index, which is right now negative, showing that miners are still accumulating Bitcoin. And also we have the Bitcoin to stable coin ratio right here starting to pick up, showing that stable coins are beginning to be deployed into the crypto markets, even though the stable coin reserves are at all time highs. We've got billions of dollars worth of stable coins getting ready to be deployed into the markets. All that and more in this video. So make sure you're watching the entire video to the end so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And if that sounds good to you, just before we jump into it, make sure to leave a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so that you're not missing out on any of these future videos. We are getting closer to 50,000 subscribers, which is crazy. I can't even believe I'm saying those numbers. And we can also get there a lot faster if you're helping with sharing these videos around as well. And honestly, I appreciate all the support on the channel at the moment. I can't thank you guys enough. But with that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. So right here, we're on the Bitcoin US dollar chart on the four hour time frame right here. And yeah, once again, as I just explained in the intro, we are still currently battling this resistance level just here. The top of this range right here is coming in at roughly around 42,000 US dollars. It's pretty much the short term resistance as of right now. Once again, I've covered that for the last few days here on the channel. And in fact, I've talked about this red zone of resistance over the past two months on the channel. So as expected over the past couple of days, once again, Bitcoin is still in this short term cool off time period just here. On the daily time frame, we did actually see one red candle finally. And once again, about a day before that happened, I was telling you guys that we're likely to see a red candle on the daily time frame sometime soon. So we now have seen that red daily candle on the daily time frame as expected. So is Bitcoin going to keep heading up here in the short term? Well, first of all, once again, we're still in this short term uptrend, technically speaking. So the trend is your friend. And in this case, if we head a little bit lower, the support right here is coming in at roughly around 40,000 US dollars, give or take. So if we start breaking below 40,000, but more importantly, if we break this previous low just here, which is coming in at roughly around 38.3k, then that's how you know that we would be breaking the short term uptrend and potentially entering into just a short term pullback once again. All of this is speaking about the short term. I do not expect any major crash anytime soon, but yeah, with that out of the way, of course, we have not seen a break of those support levels just yet. So looking at areas of resistance in the short term that we need to pay attention to, anything above this, I would actually be targeting closer towards the 21 week moving average, which is right now coming in at roughly around 45 and a half thousand US dollars. Zooming out on the weekly time frame and taking a look at this weekly moving average once again, this moving average is a very significant moving average for Bitcoin. Going back to the first major halving cycle just here, the first major bull cycle in Bitcoin. This was basically kicked off when Bitcoin broke above the 21 week moving average right there in the beginning of 2012. And ever since that moment just there, the Bitcoin price remained above this moving average. We use this moving average multiple times as support and that basically led us into that major bull run. We did actually dip a little bit below that level in the middle of the 2013 bull run just here, but it wasn't until we broke below it, came back up and retested these levels and actually got more rejections along these levels that a potential bear market was actually confirmed in that case. And then after Bitcoin broke back above the 21 week moving average after this massive bear market throughout 2014, 2015, towards the beginning of 2016, the bull market was basically confirmed at this stage if you're using the 21 week moving average to determine the bull market. And once again, throughout 2016 and 2017, this 21 week moving average was huge support for Bitcoin throughout all of these corrections until we finally broke below this moving average right here, which actually signaled the 2018 bear market throughout all of 2018, basically, until we finally broke back above that exact moving average right here. And the moment we did that in the following weeks and months, the Bitcoin price began to explode to the upside once again, after we saw a break above the 21 week moving average. So even if we do see a break above 42,000 US dollars above this range of resistance just here, once again, I still would strongly be focusing on this 21 week moving average coming in at roughly around 
45 and a half thousand US dollars at the time of filming this video. Now in the short term here on the four hour time frame, as you can see, even though Bitcoin is in a short term uptrend here, the RSI on the four hour time frame is starting to drop off a little bit. We're starting to begin a short term downtrend, especially if you're paying attention to the highs just here in the RSI. We are consistently seeing lower highs in the RSI on the Bitcoin chart on the four hour time frame once again. So this is still giving us a bit of a bearish divergence, which basically tells us that we are due for at least some more cyber with price action if not slightly to the downside. So that might only be towards this support just here at roughly around 40,000. But once again, if we start breaking below those levels, the next major support levels for Bitcoin in the short term, first of all, I will be focusing on the previous low just here at roughly around 38.3K. Anything below that level, I'll be focusing on roughly around 36.5K as a major level of support in the short term for Bitcoin. But once again, those levels of support obviously only come into play if we break below 40,000 US dollars. At the time of filming this video, we are still remaining in this short-term uptrend here. All right, now getting into this important Bitcoin chart right here. This is all of the Bitcoin reserves on exchanges. And right now we have seen a massive drop off on Bitcoin sitting on exchanges, which by the way, this is a bullish sign because when there's less Bitcoin available on exchanges, that means there's less Bitcoin to buy. And when Bitcoin is moving out of exchange wallets, usually it is moving into cold storage, which means it's gonna stay there for quite a while in in most cases. Now hiding my face cam so you can actually see what's happening right behind me just here. This purple line is the actual Bitcoin reserves on exchanges. And as you can see just here, it dropped off from roughly around two and a half million Bitcoin on exchanges down towards around 2.4 million Bitcoin on exchanges. So roughly around a hundred thousand Bitcoin just recently over the past couple of days has actually moved off exchanges, which once again is a very bullish sign. The last time we saw huge drop offs like like this in Bitcoin on exchanges was right back here towards the end of 2020 before the Bitcoin price began to explode to the upside. And on the flip side, when Bitcoin was moving to exchanges, when we were seeing this move to the upside here, that was showing that a major dump was just around the corner. Once again, this purple line is a leading indicator. Now getting into the next important Bitcoin chart right here. This is the Bitcoin miners position index. And basically this just shows if miners are selling or accumulating. And right now, considering the fact that this index is actually in negative territory that shows that miners overall are accumulating Bitcoin, which once again is a bullish sign. When the value of this indicator is sitting above two, as you can see just here, that indicates that most miners are selling Bitcoin. But right now that is simply not the case. These miners are accumulating Bitcoin. And right now in this important Bitcoin chart right here, this actually shows us the Bitcoin to stablecoin ratio. So basically when this ratio is down at these low levels, that means Bitcoin is incredibly undervalued. We are due for a major move to the upside sometime soon. And when this is heading to the upside here and starting to top out at these higher levels, that usually means that we are due for at least a short term correction as what we saw back in January 2021. And as you can see, just over the past one to two weeks, the stable coins are beginning to be deployed into the Bitcoin markets. Everyone just on average is starting to accumulate more and more Bitcoin. And once again, this coincides with all of that Bitcoin moving off of exchanges. And so of course, seeing all of these stable coins starting to move into Bitcoin, starting to buy Bitcoin, this is a bullish sign considering the fact that there is a lot of stable coins out there getting into the next important Bitcoin chart just here. Well, this isn't really a Bitcoin chart. This just shows us the stable coin reserves on exchanges. And right now, this is sitting at roughly around 17 and a half billion US dollars worth of stable coins that haven't even been deployed into Bitcoin yet. So with the potential uptrend starting to form in the Bitcoin to stable coin ratio, showing that people are starting to accumulate more Bitcoin with their stable coins and also showing stable coins at all time high levels with literally over $17 billion worth of stable coins getting ready to buy Bitcoin. This is all pointing towards a major move to the upside. Once again, this is the charts telling you this. This is not just my opinion or anything like this. This is literally fact that I'm taking from fundamental Bitcoin charts from the actual on-chain analysis. So of course, it's never impossible for Bitcoin to experience some downside price action. We all know that. But 
technically speaking, fundamentally speaking, we are due for a decent sized move to the upside and potentially a continuation of the bull market leading in towards the end of this year and potentially into 2022 as well. And by the way, I'm continuing to update you guys throughout the day over on my Twitter, as you can see just here. The link to my Twitter, by the way, is in the description down below. So if you're not following me over on Twitter, definitely make sure you're doing that if you want to get these extra updates throughout the day and stay updated at all times in the markets. But anyway, that's just about everything I have to say for this video. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so that you're not missing out on any of these future videos. And also, if you're liking these videos every single day here on the channel, as I always keep you guys updated, make sure you're sharing these videos around with your friends as well, because right now we are gearing up for an amazing opportunity in the crypto market. So seriously, there's never been a better time to stay active in these markets and there's never been a better time to share these videos around with your friends. But anyway, that's really everything I have to say for this video. Once again, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.